Now, you've probably heard British people use the word knackered. It's used all the time, but what does it mean? And how do British people use it? Well, today, I'm going to tell you everything you need to know. Hey up, mate, and welcome to episode six of the Proper British Expressions podcast. My name is Dan, and I'm here to help you understand British English one weird expression at a time. And today, we're having a closer look at the British slang word knackered. British people use this one all the time. You're definitely going to hear it if you spend time in the UK, but it can be a bit tricky to work out exactly what's going on. Now, I want you to imagine it's Friday night, it's the evening, and you've just got home from work. And it's been a long week. You know, it feels like you've had so much work to do and you've put in so much effort. And right now, all you really want to do is sit on the sofa and watch something on TV and relax, right? In this case, you might encounter the word knackered. In terms of the meaning, it usually means physically exhausted, right? You're absolutely knackered. Now, the meaning of this one is usually physically exhausted. You know, maybe you didn't get enough sleep last night and therefore knackered. Maybe you went extra hard in the gym this morning, knackered. Or maybe you've just had a really busy week at work, knackered. In all of these cases, you can use this slang word to show that you're very, very tired. However, it's not the only meaning of this word. It's the most common meaning, but there is a second one. It can also be used to mean broken or beyond repair. So basically something that is so old or broken or worn out, it can't be fixed and it's no longer useful. You know, machines or electronic devices or even things like your bike can be knackered and it means they're no good anymore. Now, this expression has been in British English for donkey's years and it actually comes from an older term, which is knacker. Now, that is somebody that used to buy old horses or injured horses and take them to the knacker yard because that's where they got slaughtered and turned into glue or whatever they do with old horses. And over time, knacker, knacker yard, old horses kind of became the meaning of the word that we use today, which is knackered. When it comes to using this one, though, it's usually used in casual settings with people you know pretty well. It's one of those, you know, slang expressions. You're not really going to use it at work very much. But I would say that this one is so common that it's well used throughout the country. People in the north and people in the south use this one. But, you know, not everyone likes to use slang, but you're definitely going to hear this all over the country. The pronunciation for this one can be a little bit tricky. First of all, it's pronounced knackered. The K at the beginning is silent. We don't pronounce it. It's not knackered, knackered. Okay. The second thing to note is the stress is on the first syllable. Knackered, knackered, knackered. And also be careful with the ending. The R in knackered is not pronounced. British English is non-rhotic. And it's a schwa sound at the end. It's not erd, it's ud. So knack -ed. knackered, 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 and that's how it's pronounced. So now you've got all the details, let's look at the examples. After running that marathon, I was proper knackered and I could barely walk. The old car finally gave up on me. It's absolutely knackered. I stayed up all night working on that project and now I'm bloody knackered. So there you go, a nice bit of British slang you can add to your internal database, but don't stop there. Why don't you get my free British slang guide right now using the link in the description. But that's it for this one, and I'll catch you in the next one. See you there.